Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with Let's Play Grandia on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we made our way to the Twin Towers here, where we fought some uh, weird octopus-looking Medusa-head enemies who have blocked all my spells, except for Gadwin, who has the least amount of H or MP to use the spells anyways. So, I kind of want my spells back just to finish the little bit of grinding that I was on. But, you know, I think I'll just have to suffer for the moment, since I was apparently unaware that skill block was a... Sudden death. That doesn't sound good. Since skill block was a... Or not skill block. Magic block was a skill. And there's the Garlal soldiers that we're trying to avoid from last episode that we saw that are here. But yeah. We have to figure out a way to get un-magic blocked. Because being magic blocked is no fun. Uh, I'm going to try to ignore you for a minute. Just get the moolah here. Uh, nothing going on over here. Now, how do I get... I want to get down into... Whatever that is. Actually, I think we've already got stuff in there, haven't we? Yeah, we've already been down there. There's an actual... I don't think there's actually any loot over there. It just wants me to think that there is. I'm not going to fight you guys until you give me SP or move blocking, unblocking items, but you know what? Screw it. Uh, Fina, what do you got? You have nothing because you're out of SP. That's kind of great. So you're just going to go ahead and chill, and we're going to let everyone else do their thing. Uh, Sue, let's go ahead with... See, fire away or puffy fire? Puffy fire will get... Experience for fire and weapon was fire away will just give experience for weapon, I think. So that seems like the better choice. Uh, Justin, let's go with Shockwave. Actually, you know what? we should be able to just uh, kill these guys with a regular attack. Since Shockwave, even though it has AoE, I don't think it has that wide of an AoE, so it's not going to kill both of them. And that looks like another block charm, which is great. But, you know, I'd rather have just unblock skill or item or whatever oh I wish I could just use my magic outside of battle like some games let you do but apparently that is not the case here I mean, don't get me wrong I like the fact that they're you know making me suffer a little bit here but at the same time it would have been nice to say hey the enemies in here are very fond of making sure you can't uh, use your spells and they like to teleport into your party Okay, uh, let's see what the Garlisle soldiers have to say about all this. Hey, who are you? You can't come in here. The Garlisle forces are doing some studies here. Oh, but wait. We're just, uh... Are you the local guides? Were you sent here to help with the Twin Tower study? That's right. We're guides. At least I'm just going to assume that's the proper response here. Yes, yes, we're guides. Our boss told us to uh, guide you folks around here. Oh, well then. We've been waiting for you. We're having trouble finding the entrance to these ruins. Okay, let's get in there quickly. We can get into the details after we're inside. I wonder if uh, General Mullen or Colonel Mullen or whatever isn't actually here, and he just has, like, a expeditionary force out here. I don't know how we did it, but we got inside without making a fuss, eh, Justin? Shh, they hear you, Sue. Come on, slow folks. Go on inside. Alright, if you say so. Uh, Twin Towers... It looks like I said vestibule, but I don't know if that was actually right or not. Yeah, it did. Okay. Cool. Uh, ooh, and there is stuff for us to recover, which is my main goal here. And also, let's go ahead and drop off a few items here, since I think we have enough room to do that and if they have any if i have any block scrolls hanging out in here i'm gonna pick those up a uh, confused charm i don't think we need that uh vaccine i don't think we're gonna be worried about plague in here too much um vaccine health we don't care about you uh vacuum scroll probably not gonna use that i'll probably just sell it later i'll keep the block charms this apparently it's useful here uh bow fruit we need that for a little bit rain staff i don't really care too much but it's there revival um 
I'll hold on to that for the moment. Let's see if we have any uh, block stuff in here. 20 SP to the entire party. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that just in case I uh, need it for anything. I'll give it to Gadwin for the moment. He should be fine with it. Okay, Dragon Scale. Titan Ring. Dragon X, which I don't really care about. I'm going to take this Panacea out just in case we get silenced to death again. And that'll be useful for other stuff. Or for, you know, staying alive. Spirit Stone, which I don't think actually does anything besides being a key item. But I have no idea. So I'm just going to leave it there since I don't seem to really need it. And I guess our goal is to talk to the uh, soldiers right now. Let's just, uh, let's just give a quick chat with everybody. I'll let you guys read all their dialogue. You know, you guys have been to a lot of ruins, actually. Yeah, we're locals. We're just uh, very eccentric. Or eccentric locals. At least that guy seems pretty sharp. Uh, we're not actually soldiers. We're guides. Yes, yes, yes. We're full of surprises. As you'll probably find out when we take out your base from the inside or something. Uh, you guys have managed to get a whole lot of tanks in here, that's for sure. I'm guessing a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, what is it, humidity in the air, so somehow that's going to get water in the machinery, even though I'm not sure if that's how that works. Those kite pilots. Those must be the guys with, uh, the planes or whatever. I'm kind of surprised that nobody is mentioning how surprised they are to find something on the other side of the wall here. Yeah, they're just hidden, I guess. Huh. Afina, you can take off your pants anywhere. I don't care. Half oh, you guys have been here for six months already. That means these guys probably are not... part of uh, Mullen's crew if they've been here six months, because I doubt Justin and them have been here six months. So... But these guys are talking about Herr Mullen. I wonder if they were just sent over here previously, and Mullen didn't have anything to do with it. Why wouldn't you want to serve on the other side of the wall? It's a new area to go check out. Yeah, it's pretty nice over here. Hey, we were able to talk to you, so I'm not really too beast mode or whatever. Uh, I guess we can't get in there. Oh, only the military can cross it. I guess because, yeah, they have the uh, planes or whatever. Yeah, uh, since we're actually, like managed to tell you, hey, we're guides, that obviously understand, or that obviously means that A, we can speak your language, and B, we understand it. Flying machines, huh? Yeah, okay, so they have ways to get over the wall. Yeah, we're not trying to take your shift, I mean, unless you want to pay us, that's fine, I guess. Wearing faces on top of faces, I'm not sure what you got to... He got a weird purple face under a weird yellow face with big ears. Uh, apparently, Puffy is a very good disguise. Okay, can we go into these uh, tents? It doesn't look like it. I'm assuming there's got to be someone here to actually talk to, actually uh, get somewhere. Hello, hello, we're guides from Gumbo. Guides, yeah? So you guys know a lot about these runes? If so, I've got a lot to ask you. Well, I guess we don't know much at all, really. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't make you a very good guide there. Record the figures, sketch the murals. You're a painter. Okay, good for you. So he must be like a... I wonder if they're using him as like a cartographer of sorts. Uh, yeah, we don't want to like mar the historic lands landmark here. So it's up to you if you want to do that, but I'm not going to myself. Well, what do you want to ask? If I can answer, awesome. If I can't, well, tough. Uh, they, they built it just so people in the future could ask, what the heck is going on here? 
Yeah, it's just uh, one of those great mysteries, I suppose. Well, I'm not sure what you guys are actually looking for, but I'm sure you'll find it eventually. Uh, we cannot go on top of those boxes, unfortunately. Oh, that's where we gotta go. Watch out, Justin. It's them. What's the matter, Sue? What? Shh. Everyone, just hide quickly. Ah, this must be uh, the the ladies. Yeah, it's them. Okay, so I managed to get over here. What a boring assignment this is. Air Mullen's stuck on studying towers. Maybe he'll give us new orders soon. If we hadn't messed up so bad in the Misty Forest by dreaming of becoming Air Mullen's aide de camp, that was one miserable experience. The train wouldn't stop and we wasted half the day. Air Mullen was mad. It wasn't his name, Justin, the one who broke the brake. He'll pay the next time I see him. He'll pay with his life. Justin, you're kind of a hose there. It's not a good idea ever to have that many women mad at you at the same time, so... Yeah, you're done for, buddy. Hmm, they're gone now. Sounds like they remember me. Looks like, looks, like you, looks like you've got women trouble, and you know a few tricks, eh, Justin? Hey, Justin, those three women, they were talking about uh, Aaron Mullen. Oh, him. I don't know if I can handle him. Anyway, it looks like there's a door over there. Let's get into the tower before we run into Aaron Mullen. Okay, so we gotta go over there. But let's see if anything else is around here. It doesn't look like it. So, hang on one second. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Anyways, the Twin Towers, whatever this place said it was. It's a good thing Air Mullen's not actually in here. Okay, Room of Temptation. That sounds like fun. Uh, What's this? It must mean something, but I don't know what. It looks like the Magic Circle. Hey, Justin, I think I see the entrance to a passageway over there. Okay, let's give it a shot. Huh? Uh-oh, Justin. It looks like a dead end ahead. You're right, there's a, wa there's a wall there. But if... If this isn't an entrance, where can we enter from? Is this going to be one of those parts, yeah, where we can just, like, walk through? No? I guess not. And I can't change the camera in here, just so you guys know. It's not letting me, at least. Okay, I have no idea, then. This might be something we actually have to do... Like right now, I guess, since I'm not allowed to move. The latest report only says that the entrance is very likely to be somewhere in this room. The way to get ejected from the Twin Towers is described in detail. is a very helpful report. Hey, that voice! It's your two worst enemies and Phoenix, or your worst enemy and Phoenix's hot sister. Oh, it's you, Mullen. What the? Why, it's Justin. Vina? Lean? What are you doing here, Justin? How in the... You must have gotten over the wall at the end of the world. You bet we did. We walked and climbed over it. Walked? You really got over that wall on foot? Ha 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 ha. That's amazing. You kids are really something. Yeah, what's so funny? Don't make fun of us, you jerk. Ha ha ha. No, no. You've got it all wrong, Justin. I'm just pleased, that's all. These days, it's wonderful to meet someone who's so artless and daring... Enough with the confusing cat chatter. Move, Mullen. Let us pass through. We'll do it by force. <laughs> if I let you pass through, will you hand me that last fragment of the spear stone, Justin? Um. If you want to come and get it, fool. Uh, no. Uh, what does he actually want with it? Will he? Will he actually tell us what he wants with it? So it's just as Lean said. You really do have it, don't you? Ha. Huh? That stone is not meant to be yours. Hand it over, and I will let you go. No, you got that? N N O. We can't let him just suddenly appear and take the stone like a mugger. You can count on me and my sword, Justin. Fina, Justin, just hand over the spirit stone. Don't risk your lives over it. Stand back, Lean. If the stone must be taken by force, I will take it in my own way. Are we actually going to fight Mullen? Let's get him, Gadwin. Okay. That didn't work out so well. Justin! Ugh, that creep. Well, on your feet already, eh? Looks like this adventure trip has provided you with good training. I'm only going to say this once more. Hand over the stone, Justin. No way, Jose. Yeah, <laughs> we could say no way, but let's do it with style. Hey, <laughs> that's just what I'd expect to hear from someone like you. Okay, come give me all you got. You shouldn't take any regrets with you to the next world. 
Stop it, Ramon. We already know who will win. Nonsense. The winner is yet to be decided. Despite the fact that he knocked the freaking seven and a half foot tall giant on his ass. Stop, stop, Justin. You're going to get killed. The spirit stone in my pocket is starting to glow. The magic circle, it's moving. Could it be the entrance to the tower? Um, Fina, or Justin, where'd you guys go? Why are Sue and Gadwin the ones that always get separated from Fina and Justin? What? what? Oh no, Gadwin! Justin and Fina, they're gone! Again! And Gadwin's just over there taking a freaking nap. Hey, where is everybody? Justin! Fina! Oh, poor Sue. Uh, uh, I hear water. Justin? Where am I? Is anyone here? Hello? Is anyone around? Justin? Sue? Gadwin? Hmm, what's going on? Justin? Justin? It's no good calling for them. The magic circle sent only you and me to this place. Ouch, my leg is hurt. Don't come near me. You're the one who made my sister do those horrible things to Luke Village. You're right, and I apologize. What? Ow! Looks like you sprained your ankle. Nothing wrong with the bones. If you take it easy, I should get better. Just sit still and rest it for a while. Where in the world are we? And where's Justin and everyone? We're inside the Twin Towers. It's a temple built for the Ik Ikarians back during the Angelus civilization. A temple for the Ikarians? Have a look around. Several old murals remain intact. Those spread wings are a symbol representing the Ikarians. Those miraculous wings which lifted them between the human and spirit realms. All human history began with the legends about those wings. See the two shining objects like two suns on the wings? Uh... Not really, not at least not from this angle. Spirit stones. Wait, that can't be right. The legends say there was only one spirit stone. Oh, I know the spirits, right? The Angel the Angelunian legends say they gave the spirit stone to the Akarians. Right, you are. As one would expect from Fina, New Parm's New Parm's greatest female adventurer. Huh? You know about me? Of course I know. After all, you've been on our most wanted list. However. The truth is, I was rather surprised. You look so much like Lean, which makes sense since you're her twin. Wait, they're twins? I mean, they look alike, but they don't look that much alike. Oh, do you think so? People have not said much about the rep rese rese resemblance. Not only are you both pretty, you both are willing to take on impossible challenges. Huh? You're teasing me, aren't you? <laughs> it's good that you're healthy enough to get mad. Okay, this will do for now. You should be able to get around now. Can you stand on your leg? Uh, yeah, I think so. Thanks. Uh, just call me Mullen. I'm a colonel in the Garlisle Forces. I'm Lieutenant Lean's commanding officer. But I think we should put all that aside for now and work together to escape from this place. Okay? Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good idea. So, shall we get going? Can you walk okay? Yes, I'm fine now. Let's go. Um, so we're gonna have Mullen in our party. Eh! Be careful. These runes are rather fragile. Please stay close behind me. Uh, th th thanks, Bullen. Yeah, he seems to be nice enough when he's not trying to kill us. I wonder if everyone's okay. I hope nobody got hurt. Well, Justin may not be unharmed, but he's hanging out with your hot sister, so I'm sure I'm sure he's fine. Then again, she doesn't, or he doesn't seem to like her, based on how she's treated her treated him before. Hmm? Maybe here? I remember. A light shone when I challenged that jerk Mullen to another fight. And I see enemies over there. Vina, Gadwin, Sue. Hey, where is everyone? I guess no one's here. I've got to find them and make sure they're okay. Uh, is it just Justin all by his lonesome here? Because that's going to kind of suck. And yeah, I see like little... 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, sparkly, not sparkly, uh, spiny hedgehogs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save, actually, since I haven't saved in a while, actually. Yeah, let's save over the uh, volcano data, since that's the one from a while ago there. Towers, Sin Room. That doesn't sound great. Okay, since we're obviously going to get in fights with Justin by ourselves here, uh, let's see, what are you in need of, my good sir? Um, I could get a little more Earth experience for you there. And that'll get that, uh, that final explosion baboom for you. Or I, or I could just start working on your fire. So either way, earth or fire is good enough for me. Okay, cool. Uh, what are these little purple thingies? I'm not sure, but let's kill you. Horned toad. I thought they were hedgehogs, but okay. That makes sense too, I guess. Uh, 112, 112. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and use our Lotus Cut for the moment here, since we have it. And this will give us uh, fire and um, weapon experience. Jeez, that did lots of damage to you. I'm more than happy to keep doing that, actually. Uh, we're not going to have enough MP to, or SP to do it for very long, unfortunately, but while we can, it's more than a one shot here, that's for sure. Burn, baby, burn. Well, we're doing like seven or eight times their maximum health there. Or well, maybe a little less than that, right, since they have like 112. Eh, like six times, I guess, if you count like all the multipliers and whatnot. And that gave me plenty of experience there. Uh, there's. Oh, I, was, I was about to say there's some money over there, but no, I'm, I'm off in the distance. Uh, this looks like a nice, fun little room for me to clear out with uh, anything really. Now, feel free to be like four of you guys. That'd be fantastic. Okay, it's just two of you. I guess they're not going to give me too many at a time, unfortunately. Oh well. Let's go ahead with. Um. Actually, let's do... Let's see how much Tremor actually does on you guys. It might be enough to kill you, it might not. If it is, that'll make this really easy for the little bit of earth grinding that I need to do. You know, when they say horned toads, they really do mean it because they're pretty horny. Then again, it's more spikes, but... Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead with... I want to hear. I want to see how much uh, burn flame does, because uh, Quake did what eighty each uh, burn flame. I think the fire spells just have a slightly stronger base damage. At least it seems like it. But then again, it might just have been enemies that are weak to it. No, you just do a lot more uh, fire damage. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll take care of the rest of these uh, spike toads off screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, we got one more guy left. Uh, I did take that opportunity to level up my sword and fire just a little bit. Uh, basically, I just went ahead and cast um, uh, Lotus Cut pretty much nonstop, and just went back to the save point after 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 every fight to recover my SP. It's worked out pretty good. I got a little extra sword and fire stuff there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and fight this guy because I learned. Um, a new magic spell for Justin, Gadzap, which as I'm assuming is the level 3 lightning spell, which sounds pretty freaking awesome by the way. Uh, I, did I did test out a few things by the way. Um, Lotus Cut seems to give at this point about 16 experience each on fire and physical, uh, whereas if I just do something like V-Slash or Midair Cut, uh, V-Slash gives like 8 uh, weapon experience, midair cut gave like 10 weapon experience. So yeah, Lotus Cut does give higher, higher weapon experience and fire experience in general. So it's probably a better idea to use that 
Uh, let's see. Where it was... Yeah, Gad Zap right there. Attack one enemy with Holy Lightning. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. Okay, cool. Let's give it a shot. It's probably going to do awesome amounts of damage. If it ever casts. That definitely looks like you shit more than one enemy. But, okay. Yeah, that guy kind of got burnt to a crisp. Uh, these guys do have the ability to put you to sleep with... I think it's Frog Song, I think. So, I want to watch out for that if they ever bother doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this again just to get the... See how much experience it forks over. Probably not that much since it's a combination skill. And it's only hitting one enemy at a time. Then again, the skills to hit only one enemy at a time might actually give more experience just because it's like, hey, I'm only hitting one person. Especially the higher level skills like this. Hey, we actually did do over a thousand damage. I thought it was going to just cap us out at 999. And I thought that Gadwin's 9999 from when we fought him was just like a, uh, hey, you'll never be able to reach this. And that did not give very much experience. But I was kind of expecting that. And again, it might have just been because there was only so few enemies to attack with only two enemies there, but whatever. Either way, that was a nice little spot for a little bit of weapon and weapon leveling and whatnot for Justin, so I'm glad to partake. And, okay, there's no chests back here that I can see. If they are back there, well, they're hidden rather well, and I don't know where they are. And that's not something I was expecting. I thought it was just one. So, can I hit all? I kind of want to get all of you guys, if I can, that'd be great. No? Okay. Screw it. We'll just go ahead and kill these guys. It's, I'm kind of curious now if Ice Slash will give more or less experience based on costing more and therefore be, being a potentially stronger skill. Actually, you're way weaker, actually, because Fire, or Lotus Cut was doing, what, uh, 900 or some, something like that? So, this is doing way less. Freeze. Yeah, we gotta sort of level up, so there's that, there's that. But, I wanna see how much experience we get out of this. No, that, that actually gives uh, slightly more than just using the Lotus Cut. Okay. Then again, I don't need the water and wind experience at the moment. So... Actually, I think I might need a little bit of wind experience. But either way, I'll take care of these guys and be right back. Alrighty, took care of those chumps. And let's see what is over here. Eek! Hey, what's that? Is that Fina or Sue? Eh, it's... Oh, it's Lean. Oh, oh no! Stay away from me! Lean, are some monsters after you? I guess they are. Uh, but you know what? This episode is getting uh, up there, so we're going to go ahead and call it an episode, and next time we're going to save Lean from the horrible uh, hedgehog, toad, frogs. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.